Welcome everyone to the SBA show. I'd like to welcome our first guest for our mini sewed series, Chris Sabau from Vapor Seal. For those joining us for the first time, my name is Hamish White and I'm the founding, one of the founding members of the Sustainable Build Alliance and the director of Sanctum Homes. In the spirit of reconciliation, we'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and extend our respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. As I mentioned today, we're joined by Chris from Vapor Seal. But who is Vapor Seal? Vapor Seal's mission is to own that little gap between your frame and the window. Uh, they are doing this by developing products which speed up window installation and improve the thermal performance of that little gap between the window and the frame. Because uh, it is quite often something that is missed by a lot of builders. Um, Vapor Seal also wants to educate us on the potential damage that can be caused um, if this gap is not managed correctly. As I said, joining us today, we've got Chris. Uh, Chris has been in the window industry for the last 22 years. Uh, and he's covered every aspect of uh, windows from manufacturing, the quality control to sales and production. Um, Chris realised there is a need for a better product in Australia, um, particularly around window installation. Um, we're already seeing uh, better ways to do this in Europe and Northern America. And after meeting Nick from Vapor Seal, uh, Chris has come on board uh, as a system specialist to bring new and improved ideas to the windy, window industry. Um, Click In is one of the products that we're going to learn about today. Uh, and Chris believes this will continue to improve the insulation and performance of the windows and doors. Uh, so without further ado, Chris, I'm going to throw it over to you and you can tell us all about Click-In and Vapor Seal. Hey, Mish. Um, I'm glad to be here. Um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, talk to everyone and let everyone know what we're all about. So um, essentially, Click-In uh, started because we... Um, we wanted to give builders the the opportunity to seal the gap that is between the the window and the frame. So, uh, like Hamish said, he uh, we wanted to uh, um, to improve the building envelope because, uh, as we all know, the uh, the window can be uh, can have a value, but that value goes literally out the window if you do not seal the gap around the window. So a, a lot of us can see uh, in our homes, when we have the blinds down, the blinds start moving because there's gap coming between the window and the frame. There's air coming between the window and the frame. So uh, at Vapor Seal, we decided to go uh, and find a product that will seal that gap. Um, so we came up with the click uh, seal, which goes in between the frame and the, the window, and then it expands in there. It, it, it's, it's pressure, it, it's pressurized on the roll. So it comes um, on, on a roll pressurized. And then when you release the roll, the, the seal will expand. And this is, um, it will seal your window at 600 pascals of driving rain, and uh, will also keep it, keep its uh, moisture, it allows moisture to go through it so that your windows don't um, condensate. So this, a lot of the problems with damp course is the fact that it's just plastic and that will sweat and it will condensate and then run down your windows and then the reveals will absorb that moisture and those reveals start swelling over the years. So we wanted to eliminate all of that and give builders an, an opportunity to um, to have a, a vapor permeable product that will then allow vapor to uh, freely uh, move in and outside the house. So uh, when we first took this product to the market, we uh, we realized that a lot of people, a lot of builders use packers and packers then got in the way of having a continuous seal around the window. And those packers are also made out of plastic and that plastic then just is thrown in, into the ground or just thrown away uh, if no longer used or uh, some people some people use three, four, five packers at the same time. Um, so then we went to um, Sweden and we said, oh, look, what have you guys got that will um, 
install windows that will uh, allow us to have this continuous seal. So Sweden, in Sweden, they have a system called Clicken, which is technically a, uh, a clip or a brick, we call it, that you, goes onto the side of the window, goes onto the, onto the reveal, and then a screw that goes into your, into your stud. Then this screw and that brick, when you bring your window in, will literally click into place. So if you don't mind, I'll give you a little bit of dem a demonstration. So on my on my window here, I've got my bricks. I usually put them 150 mil down from the first one, and then every 600 after that, just to stay within the Australian standards installation guides. And then on my on my stud, I've got the screw in at uh, 45 mil, exactly in the middle of the stud. So then that clip will align with that with that screw. Then I've also got them on the bottom. Then because they're on the bottom now, they act as packers. So you don't, you no longer need uh, aluminum packers. So let's say, um, uh, sorry, uh, plastic packers. So let's say uh, seven years down the track, uh, if you need to remove this window, uh, you can reuse these because they're stainless steel. Take the screws out and put them on another window. So then we grab the window, put the bottom in first, And then that's your window installed. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. So with the with the gap now being um, with the gap now being free of debris, so we, there's no packers uh, interfering. We can now go and put the click seal in that gap. And as as the click seal expands, it will con we put a continuous loop around the window, and that will seal your window. Uh, and allow it to uh, allow it to breathe, but also uh, insulate against uh, heat and cold. Um, so, this, yeah. Sorry, sorry, you, sorry, you go, mate. I, I was I was going to throw a couple of questions out to you because because there might be some questions from people watching this now, thinking, well, I use expanding foam now, and I know from my personal experience. Um, the expanding foam, you know, if it's not managed properly, can actually expand in and actually expand out, which makes it tricky for um, plating on the outside and also the plaster on the inside. So I know we've used this product a couple of times in our projects now, and I think, um, you know, it is going to be a bit of a game changer. Yeah, I think so too. And and spray foam uh, out of a can uh, is is also like I said, very messy. It just expands everywhere. You have to cut it. Uh, it sticks to everything, and it also releases CO two a very long time after installed. Uh, so the people people will be breathing in the the fumes coming out of that that can foam uh, for a very long time. So we're trying to eliminate that. The, uh, the Hanno is 50 year old technology out of Germany. The, yeah. So um, it's a much better option for the environment. And have you, in terms of like comparing the um, click seal to uh, spray foam, so maybe a low expansion or something you grab off the shelf from Bunnings, have you done any comparisons between the um, thermal performance um, between the two? Do, does your product outperform the spray foam? So we we don't know if it actually outperforms, but what we do know is that um, at 80 mil, uh, the Passive House certified one will give you a rate, R rating of 1.84. So we know what that R rating is. I'm not 100% sure what the spray foam gives you at the moment. Uh, there are other options out there on the market like sheep's wool and insulation bats. But with those options, the problem is that if they get wet, they stay wet. They don't actually allow vapor to go through it. Um, and the 
spray foam out of a can also once broken uh, if the house settles for any reason and it breaks and creates that gap there so then it becomes a bit, little bit useless yeah and, and that's that's probably a really good point because houses do settle and and uh, you know in some past experiences the, that spray foam does crack tell me is this as a passive house builder um, obviously we have a whole process around installing our windows where we seal it from the inside and outside with tapes um, is this particular product uh, going to give us that air tightness that we're after? Absolutely, absolutely. So I think this one will give you air tightness uh, up to uh, 600 pascals. Wow, okay. Yeah. The, the the passive house one gives you up to 1,200. And and um, I'm, I, if, if it's okay, I might throw a couple of questions at you because sure. I know I've, 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 got a, I've got a few here. Um, the... The, the gap between the window and the frame, like what happens if I've got like a 30 mil gap or a 40 mil gap or a, or a 10 mil gap, does your click seal come in different expansions for, for those gaps? Yes. Yeah. So we have, uh, we have different, different gaps. We have different, uh, different products for different gaps. I should say four to uh, eight mil and then eight to uh, 20 mil, and then uh, I think there's a 12 to 30 mil. Anything after 30, then you have to start wondering why is the gap so big between a window and a frame? I mean, you would really need to remove the window and pack it out after 30 mil. I would, I would argue that somewhere along the line, the carpenters have made a uh, have made a mistake. Yeah, that's a pretty. Yeah, that's a, I think that's so a, too. That's a pretty big opening. Now, can the click still be applied to any surface? And do you? Put it to the window, or do you put it on the frame first? Um, we we have done a couple of trials, and uh, it seems to work really well if you put it straight onto the frame itself uh, before you put the window in. Uh, it does have a sticky backing to it, so you can just you remove that sticky that uh, backing off it, and then you that uh, that area here is sticky. So then if you apply a little bit of pressure to it, uh, it should stick to the to the stud without any issues. Um, you, as like any other tape, you do have to apply pressure. You can't just put it on there and then expect it to stay. You have to apply a little bit of pressure as you're working around the, the area. Uh, also, another thing we found is that the, if there's a lot of dust, that uh, glue becomes um, useless. Uh, and it doesn't stick anymore. But I mean, if you still put it in the gap, it will still expand in the noise, but it just won't stay as uh, as well as if it w the area was clean. Right. So correct me if I'm wrong. We're 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 relying on that to expand, and we're relying on the pressure to keep it in place for our air tightness and our water permeability on on the frame and on the window. So we're actually relying on that pressure there. Yes. Yeah. Um, just to, I've got a couple of questions about the, um, the, the clicking. Um, how, what, what's the weight capacity of those ones? Like if we've got a big window that's say three or four meters wide, it's obviously going to have a big bit of glass in it. Um, what's the weight capacity for, for the clicking system? So each screw, bricks. each screw is uh, was tested at three hundred kilos, yeah, uh, okay. in in earthquake uh, scenarios, and they, they it did it, it didn't move. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, now at the same time, at the same time, it depends on the material you're you're working with as well. Obviously, pine being a little bit softer, but as far as the screw is concerned and the weight sitting on the screw itself each screw can take 300 kilos. So then we suggest that as if you're putting, a, if you're putting the screws uh, underneath your window, if you've got mullions, you put a couple of them right under the mullion, that's where, where all the weight is of the glass. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and just so you, you mentioned the distance that you, you, you spaced them at, was that 600? Yes. Yeah, cool. So if, if, I'm, if I'm interested in this product, um, Chris, do I do, do I send you plans and you guys can give me a price on um, like the number of bricks that I and bricks and screws that I need, and then also, you know, get, uh, the, the the amount of linear meters of tape and stuff that I've that I've uh, that I need. 
Yeah, so the good thing with Vaposil is that uh, at, uh, we, we work uh, together, uh, we work closely with the builder. So we don't want to just send you um, boxes of stuff and say, you know, sort it out or for you to order more than what you actually need for the job. So what you can do is send me the window schedule or send me the plans and then I'll be able to work out from there how much uh, click seal you need, how many bricks you need, how many screws you need. And then I will tell you how much that whole job will cost you and we'll quote you per job. Amazing. And if I'm if I'm new to to the product, um, you guys are happy to jump in the car and come out and run through some some training with us. Absolutely. Like I said, I've been in the industry for 22 years. I've installed uh, big windows, small windows. I've repaired a lot, a lot of stuff, especially in my quality uh, control uh, era when I was doing quality control. So a lot of that sort of problem solving is um, I have uh knowledge of so any scenario that we can come across we can fix that it's not a problem uh i mean if there's uh, if the system doesn't work for you or there's an issue that where we can't use it then I, i'll tell you this might not be the system for you but if we can help you and if we can come out there and do a training session with the boys or a training session with the crew out on site then we uh, will be there and we'll book us in and I'll come out there and we'll install windows. I'll sit there throughout the whole system, throughout the whole process until everyone's got it. And then when you have no more questions, then we'll leave you to it. Right, that's amazing. Look, Chris, thanks very much for coming on. Um, and look, if, if you guys want to check out uh, the full range of products, by all means, get in contact with Chris. Chris, you just want to chat out your email address in case someone wants to get in contact with you? Sure. It's uh, chris at vaporseal.com.au. And you can also check them out on Instagram. I think the handle is click in underscore VS. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yes, that's the one. Perfect. And look, don't forget to jump on to our website, www.thesba.com.au for all our full-length webinars, uh, all our podcast episodes, and a ton of heap of super valuable information um we're hoping to run out a whole bunch of these little mini episodes um at this stage i'm calling a mini sodes if i come up with a better name i'll uh i'll change it but yeah chris thanks so much for joining us mate and um we i really appreciate it no worries thanks mate